Here we'll be taking a look at evaluating limits as x approaches infinity. So you can see an example here of what we're going to be looking at. The limit as x approaches infinity of x plus 1 over x minus 3. Here's some key information we need to look at before we get started. Answers such as infinity over infinity and 0 over 0 are not defined. So if you solve a limit and get either of those as an answer, then you know you need to take a different approach to solving that particular limit. Also, it's taken into account anything divided by infinity will be equal to 0, and anything divided by 0 will be equal to infinity. So we'll take an example here. The limit is x approaches infinity of x plus 1 over x minus 3. So with all limits, you start by subbing for what x is approaching. So x is approaching infinity, so we'll just sub for x with infinity. So that will get us infinity plus 1 over infinity minus 3. Infinity plus 1 is still infinity. Infinity minus 3 is also still infinity. So you can see there, we got an answer of infinity over infinity, which we know is not defined. So we need to consider a different approach for solving this limit. So what we'll do in this situation is divide above and below by the highest power of x in the function. The reason for this will become clear as we go on. So we can see the highest power of x in this particular function is x to the power of 1. So we're going to divide everything above and below by x. So it'll be x divided by x plus 1 divided by x that will be over x divided by x minus 3 divided by x. So x divided by x is 1 plus 1 over x over 1 minus 3 over x. So once we have divided above and below by the highest power of x, next we'll sub for x with what it's approaching which is infinity. So we've 1 plus, it's 1 over x, so that becomes 1 over infinity, over 1 minus 3 over x, so that becomes 3 over infinity. We know anything divided by infinity is equal to 0, so that'll leave us with 1 plus 0 over 1 minus 0 give us 1 over 1 and a final answer of just 1. So you can see there the reason we divided above and below by the highest power of x was we know we'd eventually come to a situation where we'd have constants and then just numbers divided by infinity. So when you divide by infinity you just get 0 so that gets rid of those numbers and all you're left with then is constants. So you're left with constant 1 over 1 which means you will get a defined answer. So that's the reason we divide above and below by the highest power of x. So our final answer to this particular problem, the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus 1 over x minus 3, that's equal to 1. So that means within this particular function, as x approaches infinity, y will approach 1.